Oh no, no, I'm sorry. No, I did. It's mine. You guys have Oh, like you gotta I gotta show you the thing. Dang. Yeah. Wait, you don't speak Spanish? It's, it's not smart politically to say that. No, no, but you see the thing is they, they wanna claim it from the very beginning of yeah, talking about about two years ago. Well. Yeah, but we were British on tourists from the Friend, the hope everybody would like to leave along with us. All right, sisters, we have a seat right there and one right there. Oh, chill. Of the golf cart, this starts up any cart on the island. Reason why we put the lock, uh -huh. and then I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna just for you to see it's the same thing okay. that opens your lock. You can just leave this right here. Mm -hmm. This there, it's already on. It's silent. It won't do any noise. If you press there, that's to uh, release your parking brakes. You press it, it move forward. You let it go. It stops. From here, shift it. That's front. That's neutral. And that's reverse. Okay. Your golfer already comes with a bridge pass. Um, once okay. they see um, your license plate on the front and your logo, they already know that you pay. The windshield, you can always lift it up, clip it on both ends, just in case it rains. Mm -hmm. Golf carts do not come with indicators, so what we do, we do hand signals to show them on which direction we're going. Oh, wow. Just like riding a bike. Yes. Also, um, in town mainly, we have red lines. Do not park there or else they're going to give you a ticket. Uh, golf cart this here does is not um correct. Okay. Like I said it's empty, right? For you to see your gas, you have to take off the chair. The oh, golf cart it has a almost full tank of gas. There you can oh. see it. So when you bring it back, <laughs> oh, I you can it. Yeah. you have to bring you the same amount of gas. Right now you do not need to put gas. So this, it's almost full. This might last you for the entire time you have it. So just before we pick it up, just right, make sure to fill it up. Okay, so Oh, well, when we going to get me? When we actually want. Oh, okay. It's too close. Can you get me in the rear? Oh, you can't get me in the rear view mirror. Can I text the driver? I asked him. I asked him. Wait. Wait a minute. I can't take this seriously right now. Is this real life? Walk Mart. I'm over here trying to... Driving? You did no, great. when I was uh, getting out. I was very nervous and then the police was there. No. I was like, oh my god, they're gonna take this shit away immediately. <laughs> I was thinking that at first. He didn't signal, you have to signal. Why are you looking like that? Because we look crazy. We look crazy, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm used to I know, no, we're used to us. Always some shit. This is really an adventure. We Beautiful. We really this is some local shit. Like we really exactly, exactly. Motherfuckers go out the country and stay on their resort home. We're out here living with the folks. This is my cousin's house. This me trying to take a picture in the rearview mirror. <laughs> All right, here we are. Wait, where's my phone? Oh, here you go. All your dreams come true. The Alaya. Oh, it's not the, this not the joint? Ooh. Ooh. Wait, wait, it's not what the was parking lot? Oh, you mean right? I don't know. I don't I what? don't know. This is the parking lot. No. Is it? But I was thinking we could pull up a little closer, drop our bags off. Oh, okay. So, um, watch me we'll have to come back anyway. My lashes are like flying. Mine too. <laughs> Alright, careful, careful. The Alaya. So when I pull up to this door? Just follow the They're not letting us in here. Yes, they are. Keep going. No, not here, friend. Go up more. This is not the oh, entrance. Oh, but it's... All right, we're pulling up to the spot. Let's 
our new humble abode. Hi there. Hi, my friend. Um, we're trying to figure out where we should park. We're staying at the Alaya. We're staying at here. We want to know where we should park. Well, um, I think that the security is coming right now. You don't work a liar? Yes. Oh, we're gonna talk. Oh my gosh, you don't work. Okay. I want to tell you. There we go. <laughs> I really want to look. He laughing. Because he know. <laughs> Thank you. I want to go straight through the wall. Channel almost fell out Hold the on, side. Man, my, bad. <laughs> my bad. I didn't expect it to swing like that. That was not fun. Ooh, yeah, we yeah. gotta hurry it up. Hey, it's okay. We're gonna pull up right shit. here. We'll keep going. Okay, right here is good. Wow. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect, right? Yo. The kitchen, okay, because Airbnb, who? This is bomb, Marriott. This is the Alaya. So, if y'all come to Belize already off top, off the ambiance alone, 100% recommend. This is our living room area. Beautiful flat screen TV, stainless steel. Fridge, a full fridge, not a mini fridge, an oven, a stove. We could get to kit, we could get to cooking in here. In here. Multiple patios. This is just one. Okay. This is just one. Like the content. Y'all know the content is going to eat. It's full bath, first of all. The sink area. Oh. Um, the shower. Bomb. What do they call that? Rainfall shower? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then on the other side, another TV, our bed, ceiling fans, a closet, and then, oh look, what? Another patio. <laughs> another patio. We could literally wake up and sit on any of our three patios. On different patios that we still would need another person to come sit on the Like. like so beautiful this is so beautiful i can't even really take it in right now for real so we're about to just get ourselves together figure out what we're about to do because when i tell y'all we just took three planes <laughs> the way we did three separate flights bruh three flights i flew from dc isa flew from new york we met in Miami, from Miami to Belize City. From Belize City, we go to San Pedro. From San Pedro, we touch down and we get in a golf cart to drive to the <laughs> Alaya, <Yeah>. bro! <laughs> Love it. I really, really do. The golf cart is absolutely hilarious. I feel like it brings character to the dynamic <laughs> we have going on right now. Yes, y'all. We we've had quite the journey. Amazing service already. As soon as we came up in here, they parked our golf cart for us. They took our bags for us. They recommended all the different restaurants for us to go to. They had these beautiful fruit drinks. And I still, I don't know if I'm gonna have the footage of the entrance in the beginning or what. I gotta go back and record that, but yeah. Amazing, y'all. 
amazing. We're just gonna figure out our itinerary because now we're just like, what do we do? This is already so gorgeous. But yes, there's definitely more stuff that I have to show y'all. They got a rooftop pool. They have a main pool. They have a piano bar. They have a rooftop bar. Then they have another floor where we can watch the sunset. Like, bruh. Yes, please. It's the way I'm going to this Halloween party. <laughs> We're going to a Halloween party in Belize. We are not leaving this island without content. I refuse. It's so beautiful. I refuse. There's no way we're leaving without the content. Y'all, when I tell y'all I brought the lighting, I brought the tripods, I brought a speaker so we got the vibes, I brought my iPad. Only thing I didn't bring is my laptop because I was not doing no type of editing. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm too hype. <laughs> Good morning. Okay. <laughs> you guys uh, got here yesterday or the day before? Yesterday. Yesterday? Yes. We had a long day. <laughs> we did, we got in at like 
we went to bed at like 2 2 30. <laughs> Yeah, no, we went to bed at like 2.30 going on 3. The street is uh, more active today. Really? Uh-huh. Oh, because it's Saturday. Uh, I'm going to go breakfast. What is my hat? Do you have something to eat? What did you ask for? girls because we woke up early we can have breakfast i think that's him jermaine hi jermaine how are you like fine thank you good morning what happened to the sign yeah i thought she was gonna have a sign with our name on it you send me a picture so i don't know oh we want to see it you sent me a picture, so I was like, I don't want to make so a sign. So why Eric lie? No, because he he because he he did the picture impromptu. So what happened to the sign? There was never a sign. No, I made it. I didn't bring it because I said if he, he already, if he already didn't send the picture, okay, he would have the sign. Send it to us, please. Oh, wait, I could do that. But uh, you gotta give me a picture though. I'm sorry, you gotta give me a number. He sent he sent you a picture of us. How many pictures we must take? Not just one. <laughs> just one. Let me show you. But ladies, we have about a two hour drive. Do you need to use the restroom before we take off? Let me go. Two hour drive? Let me go. Oh, so I wanted to ask. I would like to wear a nice long dress. It's your birthday? Yeah, it is my birthday. Today? How'd you know? The whole week. The whole weekend is my birthday. Exactly. So you like, like, this is the closest thing to a sign. <laughs> So we just arrived at the Mayan temple site so we can start. It is so beautiful out here. With our tour guide, Jermaine. He said they got the stealing monkeys. <gasps> like the Brazil, bruh. If I see a monkey, I'm gonna fuck you up. You asked about chaining, right? There's a section up here that you could chain, basically here. It's about She can change in feet. the temple? No, she has to do it on top. But there's also a room <laughs> in the back. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I can't change in the temple, yeah. I have to change there's, on the top of the temple. Yeah, you could change here, er, there's a room uh -huh. on the back side of it. Because this room, these rooms are not accessible anymore. Oh. Alright, but there's rooms in the back just before you get on top that you'll be able to change. And how long before Christ this was? 1200 BC. Wow. Yeah, we're estimating that the peak of the civilization was around 550 years after Christ died. Mm -hmm. And Sunantanich had about 10,000 people living here. What are these people called? The Mayans. Oh, these are the Mayans. Okay. Yeah, these were... I mean, if you ask around in the country, a lot of people would tell you that the Mayans were the first people to settle in Belize. But there's evidence that they were not. Mm -hmm. The first set of people to settle in Belize were called Olmecs. Mm. All mixed were from Africa. Mm. Then the Mayans came after. The Moors. You know the Moors? Sorry? The Moors? Moors, yes. M-O-O-R-S. We, we don't have any evidence of them here. Yeah. But the first was all mixed, and then the Mayans, and then the Spaniards came around in 1492. Mm -hmm. But we're estimating that at one point, what is known as Belize today, had at least 2 million Mayans living in Belize. What? And our population is today is not even 500,000, right? Our population is about, yeah, about 500,000 roughly. The mines make up about just 2% of that population. Wow. Very small The mines are very messy. Today we've not been able to do a lot of carbon dating on it because of the skeletal remains. It's kind of, but it's basically between Mexico, 
here in Guatemala and as far south as in Honduras. But okay. to say originally where they yeah, came from, we we're not know. quite sure. Yeah. Okay, right? There's several theories about it and you know, yeah. I'm sure you heard about this whole alien theory as well. A lot of people yes. believe because a lot of it is unexplained. I mean, the minds were so, so on top of the game back in the day. Right, weren't they advanced? Very, very advanced. I mean, this building, imagine 130 feet. It has withstand several categories of fire and hurricanes. Still and it's still there. Yeah. A lot of the structures that we build today don't even withstand they a category can't. two when they, they fall. So Texas homes be blown uh, away. I believe they could have come from the east coast of Africa before the continents were subdivided. Mm. That's what I, what I believe. From the studies that I've done, like I'm telling you, I studied this for four years, but I also studied about the Aztecs. There are some people in Mexico called the Teotihuacans, and mm -hmm. I also study about the Olmecs. Mm -hmm. All right, I just finished. I'm actually doing a course, almost finished, about Egyptology. That's like my oh, dream. Shit. Now I really want to go to Egypt, but you know this is not the right time. So my mom yeah. loves yeah. Egypt. To wait, but yeah, that is uh. that is my dream. dream trip. Um, and still in Belize, like I said, you're able to climb these structures, right? Um, once you get all the way on top here, if you're going to go today, you look over to the west, you'll be able to see the first little town in Guatemala. Wow. Okay. That is called uh, Melchor de Mencos. Mm -hmm. And that's where most of us go and purchase our uniforms for the kids because all the schools in Belize use uniforms. Yeah. Right? They use school uniforms from basically from first to the 12th grade. Mm -hmm. right? And I, I, I'm up for that because it's easier on appearance <laughs> and also see it as equality for all. You know, you know, one is like maybe your footwear changes a little bit, but yeah. everyone uses the same uniform for at least 12 years. Yeah, we do uniforms too, some schools. Some. So, are we ready? Yeah, let's right, do let's it. Go. Wow. Already, I'm like... I'm just gonna look at you. I'm just hoping that the rain held up. Yes. It's called Weezer. Weezer? It's offline. You could just download it to your phone and you could just play music to it. Wow. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, this works. This is good, Jermaine. So we are climbing this temple. Let's look at how steep the stairs are, y'all. Like you just had to be there. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Oh shit! Oh. Wait, 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 wait! Nah, this shit is high. Right, that's what. Look at me. I'm on. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, BRB. I'll see y'all at the top. Cause this is kind of scary.
виски из рука. Hello everyone, we just finished our amazing ride. This is my horse, Chocolate. She's been great, lovely. And yeah, you guys, that's all. Until next time, we've got a boat to catch, two cars, <laughs> two planes. Oh. Yes, thank you, friend, just hit it all. You know where it's that was good. Oh, chocolate, where are we gonna go? Right here. It connects to that one. I'll wait. People I'll see how I feel. Okay. If it's really spicy, then I'll get some.
good morning. Good morning, you guys. Uh, it has been an amazing like past like two days. OMG, I just wanted to touch base with you guys. First of all, look at this. It actually just finished raining and I watched it rain. And it was so relaxing to hear, but I've just been sitting out on the patio, just going through my farm. And I just wanted to tell you guys about what we've done so far. Like, y'all. First of all, I look crusty, but forget that. It doesn't matter because I'm in Belize. But um, it has been such a really cool experience here. Just seeing how like other people live. And this is like my first time going out of the country in general, which is crazy. But that alone and the amount of stuff that we did within these past two days, like amazing experience. Yesterday we did a tour of the Mayan temples and we did horseback riding, but we're on the island of San Pedro. So this is an island within Belize and the mainland is Belize City. So we flew into Belize City from Belize City we took a plane, Tropic Air, to the island. So for everything that we want to do on the mainland, we have to take either a train or a boat to get to the mainland. So yesterday we woke up at like, I woke up at like 5.15 a.m. to get ready. We met our tour guide. Um, we had like two people. We met with Eric. He picked us up at like 5.50 in the morning. We went to go get breakfast. That was all the footage that you guys have seen. I just didn't have time to like explain what was happening. But yeah, we went to go get breakfast. Then we had to go to the airport again to fly to the mainland where we met our other tour guide, Jermaine, who was our guide for the Mayan temples. And um, we flew, the plane ride is only like 20 minutes. But then once we got to the mainland, the drive, we had to drive deep, deep, deep into Belize and that was like a two hour drive to get to the Mayan temple tour site. And when I tell you it was just so worth it, like the whole journey just made the experience even more like amazing. Cause it was just like, wow, the things that you can see in other places were just mind blowing. Like the temples and being able to climb them and actually see touch and feel like I, this is stuff that I've seen in my textbooks in school like world history but then to see it in front of you crazy such a crazy experience and just knowing how ancient they were like yes like always down for a good excursion we did that mind you it's hot we're sweating we drove to grab lunch so that we could eat on our way to the ranch for horseback riding and we rode the horses through the jungle okay like we have really been doing the damn thing for real it's been amazing amazing and i totally recommend um and what i really loved about the tour that we did was it was just us it was private like we weren't with like a huge tour group or anything like that which we needed because like they were so chill and cool with us they let us just stop take pictures take videos just do what we do because isa and i like we we love capturing the moment as well as being present in the moment so it's just so much to take in so it's like we're taking it in they were like we want to stop and take pictures we want to stop and do videos and everything and they just let us do it all like they let us chill they didn't try to rush us we were actually supposed to be on a different plane but we didn't get to go go back home to the last flight because we missed the flight that we were supposed to have just because we were taking our time and they didn't want to uh, want us to feel like we had to rush which I thought was so nice and plus the people here gen in general are just like very very nice and peaceful and kind and welcoming and hospitable like ugh, the vibes here is just a good getaway a lot of stuff that we think about at home like it just feels like it doesn't matter here you know so it just feels really good the energy first night we went out to this place um, it was like a terrace rooftop terrace type of place which was cute we keep missing dinner because well we eat like we'll we'll have to eat from like street vendors but we haven't been able to sit down and eat for a meal for dinner because we just keep getting out too late so hopefully we can get that done today um 
But yeah, so when we came back from horseback riding, on the plane ride back, I got to ride in the pilot seat, in the pilot passenger seat. Issa rode in that seat on our way going, so I got to do it coming back, and that was such a cool experience as well. And um, last night we tried to go out on the town again, missed it, because we got out there too late. Everything closes kind of early here, so we're used to being able to go out to eat at like 9 30 10 o'clock and be there till like 12 but they'll close their stuff by 10 9 11 so we just kind of went around the town ate we grabbed burritos from another um like street vendor cart and yeah it was just so cute here but i'll keep you guys posted with everything else we do next i'm just trying to get stuff up on my story right now because I haven't been able to post anything so especially because I don't have service so anytime I have Wi-Fi like right now I'm just trying to you know get the content up so today I think we're just gonna try to take it easy hopefully when the Sun comes out we can lay out by the pool we just want to chill go around the city and actually sit down for a decent meal and today's actually Issa's birthday so we're bringing in her birthday in Belize which is so lit but yeah, y'all, just stay tuned for everything. Hope you guys have been enjoying the vlog and the views and the scenery and just the vibes because it is really a vibe. But yeah, y'all, talk to you later. of the legs maybe okay. and I want to try what's grilled is good right yeah I think I want to try it grilled. yes like that's perfect what else? yeah that and then 
I want some shrimp. How many shrimps? Let's do five. No. These are jumbo, ten each for each shrimps. How much for ten, each? Ten Belize, yeah, they're big shrimps. Okay, four shrimp. And then let's do, is this a crab? This is crab, right? Crocket for you. How much is it? Uh, 35, 30, depends the size. Let me get this one. The small one. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. That's it. I'm very simple. That's all I want. Thanks. Daddy, <laughs> all right. No, just check with the waiter, maybe. Huh? Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Getting a picture of it before. Let me do it before and after. Are you there? We have a yes. part of the shrimp, 18 for octopus mm -hmm. and 30 for the crab. Yes. Okay. For the crab, we just gonna steam that. Yep, that's perfect. Scrub are the water inside. Yep. Okay. So, yeah. So we're gonna grill it with Cajun spice bucket? Yeah, that's fine. For my sides, I wanna do the rice and beans. Okay. And a garden salad, please. Rice and beans and a garden salad. Yep. Okay, there. You, are you going to do any appetizers? No. no appetizers. Well, oh, did you want one? I don't That's want one. Yeah, this is the lot. Yes. All right. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you. Why be thirsty?